overcoming the profound sadness of a broken heart. A bedtime lecture. Lay in a comfortable position, surrounding yourself with peace and warmth. Pay attention to my words and observe them in your existence. One way or another, humans have to face a difficult emotion called sadness. I mean, profound sadness. And I would say that one of the most painful feeling is often caused by having to let go of someone you loved and cherished. It could seem like drowning in emptiness by losing major points of reference and being forced to rebuild them. If you've been dumped, rejected or had to let go of someone you were massively in love with, the impact on your existence could be quite remarkable. You may have lost reasons to live for, confronted with a major lack of ambition towards your goals, and your self-esteem is heading down the drain. Feeling like crying all the time and experiencing no joy with that constant knot in your stomach. Anger sometimes takes over to alter the pain into another form. Your inner dialogue is ghosted and invaded by the voice of the lost one, so your imagination goes miserably wild, feeling and living all the worst possible scenarios. So every moment of being awake is almost a nightmare of pain. Because what you imagine and feel becomes your only reality. The only perception in the matrix of matter, which is the power of you, expressed in the two poles now, to give you a point of reference of how I can understand the overwhelming emotion of a broken heart, I will have to give you a glimpse of my background here on Earth. I'm not here to complain, and I end up perfectly fine. But man, I lived through a notable childhood, being physically abused in many different foster homes, moved from school to school almost every year and of course bullied in the playgrounds wearing rags way too small skinny and undergrown because I had not much food to eat living mostly on the streets but I can tell you this no emotional pain is greater than a hardcore broken heart because it generally brings up our old, difficult experiences back to life. Combined with the present one, your paradigm. And that is not easy to deal with. It seems to last forever. If not harnessed in a prompt way, it could lead to a clinical depression. So if you get there, be with someone close. Don't isolate yourself. If you feel completely alone, ask the divine to show you the way to your salvation. Remember this. Feelings are the amplified vibrations of imagination. The stronger we feel something, the stronger we emanate those vibrations which are transmuted into our reality. So taking control of our inner talk is imperative. If it gets too painful, try to sleep. Yes, 
Crying is a way to release the excess pain at the beginning. Ask the divine for deliverance in a rapid healing and know with conviction that you are heard because the divine is in you. Take the time to understand why you are crying so hard during the process so you know where to heal. What does affect you so much? Where does it come from? Are you afraid of not finding someone else that you love as much? Or that he or she will replace you with a better lover? It is important to understand why, because we need to observe one side to create the opposite one. Like transforming fear into faith, sadness into joy, and turning a dark inner talk into a gold and shiny one. Observe this. To appreciate heat, we must experience cold. The healing resides in its contrast. As simple as that. We came here to live through the two poles, oscillating between both until the end of our segments, which is the end of our earthly lives. Don't worry. Your glory is coming. Now, if someone plays with your heart by keeping you hostage to exploit your love for their benefit, you will have to interrupt the pattern promptly. Denial is the main reason why we keep looping in this pattern. You are worth better than that, even if you don't feel that way. You are just mesmerized by your own imagination. He or she is the result of your expressed imagination and feeling. The brain and heart currents in synchronicity. Period. It's always a match. You are what you are. The divine expressed into matter. So, how to overcome this miserable experience? Well, have you noticed the amount of energy residing in the emotion of this event? I mean, the amplitude is so great that it's building up like stretching a slingshot to its max, waiting to be launched. So, imagine what it could be like on the opposite side, filled with love and comfort. Shift your energy and focus on the other pole. It begins with a lie and becomes your reality. If you feel betrayed, envision security and loyalty. If you feel abused, envision overwhelming love coming to you. If you feel destroyed, Envision yourself on top of your experience, like a king or queen. So say it out loud, I am loved and cherished, prosper and enriched. Yes, it might sound like lies at the beginning, but slowly love will express itself back to you. This is how to convert pure pain into pure benefit. Get back in love with yourself first because you are divinely expressed into matter. So, let it all go. Once we release the tension accumulated in the slingshot, the sky becomes the limit. Get your brain busy with constant positive inputs. 
don't listen to sad songs to stretch the pain. Surround yourself with love and comforts, like candles, pets, and friends. You need to build back your self-esteem, so read positive books and watch pep talks on YouTube. Constantly feed your brain with healthy and uplifting stuff from any source as possible anywhere you go. Do activities that give you joy. Chase away the memories that make you feel like crying or feel upset. Don't dwell on the past. Avoid social media that can tempt you to sneak on your ex. This is the worst you can do to extend the pain. Block any connection if it's possible. Let go of guilt, revenge, or jealousy. Forgive and forget. Create positive inductions at bedtime. Declare that it's going to be better the next day by asking for guidance and personal revelations. Saying out loud, show me the way. Understand that you are the only one in your imagination. No one can understand you the way you wish to be. So ponder on this. The perception of others is not who you are but the reflection of what you think you are. You see, feeling is your compass. So pay attention to where you are heading in your imagination by observing your feelings. Always remember this. You are loved and cherished prosper and enriched. You are the divine expressed into flesh. That's the power of you. Share this with the world, sending you massive love, and I'm wishing you a good night's sleep.